what is an embedded cover group and why an embedded cover group variable may only be assigned in the new method. So a cover group declaration within a class is an embedded cover group declaration. That means if you write the cover group inside the class, then it is called as an embedded cover group. If you see here, I have two examples. Here I have written the cover group inside the module and here I have written the cover group inside the class. So this is called as an embedded cover group because I have defined the cover group inside the class. And if you come to the construction of embedded cover group, here I have created the cover group inside the new method. And here this is a normal cover group and here I have created with the uh, instance, right? Co cj is equal to new. And in the class here I have created the cover group with the cover group name. So co is equal to new. And within the new method I have created the cover group. So what is the reason for this? So the reason is construction of an embedded cover group is supported only in the constructor of cover group's parent class. So cover group's parent class is nothing but XYZ, right? Where the cover group is defined. So XYZ is the parent class of this cover group and inside that constructor, we have to create the cover group. Okay, so this is a simple system area lock code. If you have UVM components, then you need to construct the cover group inside the new method only. You cannot construct the cover group inside the build or any other method. Okay, you have to create it inside the new method only because an embedded cover group variable may only be assigned in the new method and an embedded coverage group can be explicitly instantiated in the new method. So if it is not, then the coverage group is not created and no data will be sampled. And these are all the important points to remember in embedded cover group.